Hey, Steve, uh, what went into the decision to bring James off the bench? And then just what did you make of his performance tonight? Uh, well, we just wanted to give him an opportunity to, to play down the stretch if we, if we were in a tight game. Um, I thought he was great. You know, it's not easy to take his mind. I think he's been out five weeks and uh, to play in an actual NBA game. Sometimes it can be difficult, especially in a year like this where, you know, in a regular year you can kind of simulate some some practices or some, some stay-ready groups that are a little more, I don't know, um, uh, robust, so to speak. You know, we got so many guys that have been injured, and so he hasn't had a lot of opportunities in, in that respect. So I thought he was fantastic. Happy to see him back, and most importantly, um, no recurrence of the injury. Thank you. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two for you. Just the scoring's been very balanced these past two nights. Eight guys in double figures. Is there anything in particular you attribute that to? Uh, I mean, one of the things I think people are paying a lot of attention to Kevin. So, you know, whether they're doubling him or loading up and he's getting rid of the ball and, and making his teammates better. So maybe that contributes to it. But we've just tried to move the ball, play with pace, um, make the defense, make multiple decisions every possession. And uh, and I think it's been good to us. Our, you know, assist to, to turnovers tonight, 33 to 11. Last game, something like 35 to 7. So, you know, really good, really good uh, kind of pace and and togetherness and we've got to keep building on that and then just is jeff okay I couldn't tell what from our view what happened to him down in the, the corner over there yeah i think it was an awkward fall um a lot of contact but i think he's okay and he, he i think ran the game you know not too long after and looked good brian lewis with the new york post sorry my apologies that's okay. I know in the past, uh, when Kevin has come back, you've said, well, you're not surprised when he drops right into the game and looks like his normal self. James, I guess in some ways it's fortunate that he hasn't had as much experience coming back from long layoffs and injuries. Are you surprised at how crisp and how sharp he looked? Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't want to go so strong as to say surprise, but I was pleasantly surprised. You know, you, you expect some rust. And while I'm not saying he's firing on all cylinders, I thought it was pretty impressive. So um, pleasantly surprised. You could see where there'd be more rust, but, uh, you know, he's pretty sharp, played well, obviously impacted the game greatly. So uh, really impressed. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Bruce, you're on mute. Thank you, Steve. No problem. How important are these last few games for James just in terms of getting reps, and how valuable will that week be this year before the playoffs commence? I think it's great that he's going to get at least another game in. Um, you know, for his confidence and his reps and that rhythm that we keep talking about, it's really important as a basketball player, you know, especially you're going into the highest kind of intensity of the season where um, people are going to be scheming and physical and the game raises a little bit. So, you know, it's important for him to get some touches out there and to play, um, you know, that week off uh, where we can prepare for the playoffs is really important, in particular for our team. You know, we're, we're playing against teams that are running it back three, four years now in the playoffs, going deep into the playoffs, not just, you know, um, you know, this season for us, it's been three teams more or less. And so our, our you know, I don't think that our kind of um, four top perimeter guys have even played with Blake or Nick together. So, you know, we got a lot of things that we have to overcome and mainly it's time. And so that week is important for us to kind of spend some time going over everything we need to for the playoffs and preparing to play. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Steve, I apologize if you've been asked this before, but uh, uh, you, you kind of alluded to the fact that James will get at least one more game out of that back-to-back. -back. And uh, how important will that be for him, you know, just to get some time with the big three? And then also, did he seem a little tentative to you in the first half in terms of driving and then kind of found his rhythm in the second half? Um. You know, I think it'd be great if, if we can get everyone on the court together. I'm not sure that'll happen. We'll see what happens. It seems like something different 
kind of changes by the day. Uh, but if we do have that luxury, that'd be great. You know, it won't be a lot. It won't be enough, but it'll be something. Um, yeah, I don't know if he was tentative or if he's just feeling his way into the game. It's been a long layoff. Um, so I, I don't I don't know that he overcame any fears as much as I think he just kind of felt a rhythm and started to kind of come back to himself and, and feel more confident in what he was doing. And, you know, it's just different. You know, you get out there with the team um, five on five uh, under the lights against another NBA team. It takes a minute, I think. So especially if he enters the game in the second quarter. So all, all considered, I thought he was great.